Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Turn your Galaxy Z Fold 2 into a desktop computer using your TV. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna just start off with this. The TV that you see on here right now is LG. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because with the Samsung Z Fold 2, you can connect your Z Fold 2 to any TV. It doesn't have to be an actual Samsung TV. This one is the LG. You can hook it to any other TVs. It has to be like the same Wi-Fi connection. So like in my house, I have like two different, well, three different Wi-Fi connections that I can connect to. I have to make sure my TV and my phone is on the same Wi-Fi. And on some TVs, it'll come up small, then you have to make it big. You see how this is? And it turns into like a computer, like a desktop. So you just have to connect it. So you can connect it to a TV. You can connect it to an actual monitor if you like. So I like the fact of being able to use a TV because the TV is big and I can still do everything I want to do and see it on a big TV. So on the next part of this video, you will see the Samsung TV that I'm actually connected to. The light and the stuff in that room was a little bit better. So I'll show you how to connect it to your TV. I'll also show you how to use the actual phone as the pad. You can use a stylus or you can actually hook a mouse to your phone to you know move around on your TV. But I'll show you how to do that. So let's get into that. Okay, so you pull down your notification panel and you'll see something that's called Dex. I don't know where yours is located, but mine is located here. You press it and then you will see the different TVs come up. So mine came up for one that I already used before, but this is a different TV that I want to use. So I want to find the TV that I need and I have three listed. Well, this TV is the Samsung Then you want to press start now. It'll connect. Then it will ask you to allow, deny or close. And of course you want to press allow. So once you press allow on your TV, then you will see that your phone comes up at the top and you will see Samsung Dex come up. Now I'm going to show you how to connect a mouse. So you want to connect the mouse to be able to use the touchpad. You can use a stylus, but you can also use a mouse. So the little adapter that came with like any one of your other Samsung phones, hopefully you have one, maybe you have to go buy one, but mine came with my Samsung Note. You want to take that and connect it to the USB that comes with your mouse. Connect the two of those. Of course, it's wireless. And then you take the adapter and you connect it to your phone. So you will be allowed to use the mouse or your touchpad. Okay, so now it should be connected. Now you need to go and pull down your notification bar again. And you go to use your phone as a touchpad. So now here's the touchpad. You can use the mouse to move around on the TV. You'll see it on the TV or you can use the actual touchpad with your stylus, whichever way you want to do it. I like to use the mouse. It's easy to do just like you would do on a computer, but some people may prefer to use a stylus or may not have a mouse. So choose whichever one you like. So now I'm going to show you how it's done. See, now I'm using the mouse and I'm clicking around as if I'm using a regular desktop. So you can pull up everything that you would normally pull up on your phone. It's set up just like a desktop. You see at the bottom, it has the, the apps and everything. You can pull up the internet, you can pull up YouTube. So now it's set up like a desktop, but it still has like your apps. It still has your recent, go back. It still has your notifications and stuff like that. But it's just set up in a way of a desktop with your little apps to the side be able to pull all your stuff up, be able to go to the internet. It's all, you know, just in a larger size than your phone. It's just a little bit easier to see. I actually like doing this like when I'm sitting back and I don't want to be on my phone. I don't want to be on my desktop. I want to be in the family room. I can just pull it up right here on my TV and do whatever I want to. I edit a lot of my videos on my phone. And now that I have the Z Fold 2, it's a bigger screen on my Z Fold 2 than my Note phone so it's a little bit easier to work i can even edit videos while i'm sitting here on my tv this tv right here i think is like a 50 something inch tv the other tv i showed you earlier was like a 70 something inch tv so 
to be able to see that and be able to pull everything up real good it's kind of nice you know you can pull up several different you know apps at one time the same way you would either on your phone or the same way you would on a desktop but of course you can pull up more stuff and see more stuff on here so i'm just going to give you a glimpse of one of my videos and show you how good it looks the lighting like i said is not so good i just kind of had my camera I didn't sit it up high enough you know, I was just trying to give y'all the gist of how it works and what you can do. So I can see him watch anything that I have on my phone. I can edit videos or do anything that I normally do on my phone. I can do it on here. It's kind of set up like a desktop. So I just want to come show you guys exactly how you would set this up, how it looks. You know, like I said, it looks like a desktop, but you're using your actual phone. You can use an actual monitor if that's what you choose to do. But I just feel like it's easier to just set it up on my TV, sit back and, you know, I can hear everything loud because I have the speakers and stuff set up. Any movie I have on my phone, I can play it. You know how some people have the little apps on their phones where they can watch certain movies and certain things, but you cannot pull it up on your TV. This is a good way to do it. And like I said, if you don't have an up to grade, up to date, should I say TV or a later model TV, you can always go to an old school TV and hook up a Roku or anything like that. When you hook up the Roku, all you do the same way you just look for the TV, you look for the Roku and it connect direct to your Roku and it'll be on your TV and you do it the same way as if you're actually using a computer. I think it's cool. Like a lot of people have, you know, a lot of Samsung phones and don't realize that they can use this for it. But like with the Z Fold 2, it comes already on there. Like other Samsung phones, like I think like the Note line, a lot of the later Note line phones, you can do this with it too. But like some of the other Samsung phones can do it, but you would actually have to buy the DeX adapter. It's either like you sit it down in the DeX adapter or you add the DeX adapter. But this is real cool. But anyway, y'all give me a thumbs up on my video. Subscribe to my channel if you hadn't already. Subscribe to my other channel if you hadn't already. Make sure you check me out on social media. Make sure you check out my shop. Make sure you click that bell for notification of my videos. Make sure you check out my shop. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, be blessed. Enough of that stuff.